In this Sandtorch HD tutorial, we're going to go over how to lay out a 3D star. All we have to do is lay out one of these triangles and make 10 of them and weld them together. The request was for a 36 inch diameter star, 6 inches tall. I'm drawing 10 inches in diameter, 1.66 inches tall, and I can just scale the pattern up 3.6 times to get 36 by 6. All I have to do is figure out the length of each side of the triangle. This line is at ground level, so it appears actual size. These two lines are go from ground level up to 1.66 tall. So they do not show actual size in this view. To get the actual length of this line, I just draw a side view 1.66 tall. And the length of this line is the actual length of this line. To get the length of this one, I have to project out perpendicular make a box 1.66 across and draw the diagonal and its length is the actual length of this line. So now all I have to do is draw a vertical the same length as this line and draw an arc with the same radius as the length of this line from the top of the vertical and an arc with the radius the same length as this line from the bottom of the vertical and that intersection corresponds with this point so then I can draw the other two sides of the triangle when we cut this out the material thickness will come into play and the back edge of this line will cross this center line when assembled this piece will move over a little bit and as it does that, it will ride up this miter line a little bit. And we end up with a star a little bigger than drawn. And it will actually leave a small hole here and a small flat here. But since it will be hard to maintain a perfectly sharp point here, we can plan on grinding that tip off a little bit. And that will bring it back down to the desired size although it will be a little wider here. It would be a lot more difficult to take material thickness into consideration and that would be easier to do in a 3D CAD program. But usually you won't have to be that precise and this would be good enough. And while I'm here I want to show you something about how CorelDRAW does stars. If we draw a star and zoom in Corel has a sharpness parameter that has to be an integer here it is 53 and here it is 52 so the Corel star tool cannot draw a perfect star with this side horizontal I had to construct that manually to get a perfect star. But that's basically the easiest way I know to lay out a 3D star. And that's all for now.